Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use GoSeq to do algebra. So basically, you wouldn't really want to use GoSeq or what, one of the uh, what if uh, features in Excel to do algebra for you, but you might want to use it to help validate your answer. And it's kind of a longer way to do it, but it's kind of a fun way to see how Excel can help you with algebra. So let's say, for example, we have this quadratic equation x squared minus 5x plus 3 and equals 0. And we want to solve for 0, basically, or we want to solve for x. And to have the equation equal zero. So this is a kind of a perfect um, scenario for goal seek. So what we can do is we can just set up a small table here. We have our x here and this is where we're going to input our formula. So basically I'm going to start with inputting our formula. I'm going to type equals uh, x. Segment. I'm going to put the reference into a2. So I'm going to say uh, a2 and then I'm going to use square and the square is the caret symbol which is shift 6 and that's going to be squared, right? And then I'm going to minus uh, 5x, which is still referenced to a2. That's where x is going to come into play. Whoops. I'm going to go ahead and type the uh, multiplication symbol and reference a2, right? And then I'm going to plus 3. And that's going to be equal to 0, assuming that uh, we're going to find out what x is. Generally, what I like to do is to ensure that calculation is done um, in the order of preference is I wanted to put it in parentheses. So that particular calculation, the squared part, that's in parentheses. I'm going to put uh, 5 minus or 5 times uh, x, which is the uh, reference a2, in parentheses. And then after that, uh, go ahead and add 3 to it. So basically what it's going to do is it's going to perform that ca calculation first, x squared, uh, and then minus 5 times the x and then add 3. So it's going to perform those calculations in the parentheses first and then it's going to minus that second uh, that second value output and then plus 3. So now that I have my equation all set up, what I want to do is bring up GoSeq. Right now you can see it's created a um, 3. So basically what it's, what, it, what it's done is uh, A2 has nothing. It's a blank value so it's going to take it as 0. Right? 0 minus 0 is 0 and you get your output as 3. But what I want to do is I want to find for that word equals zero. And so what I'm going to do is bring up GoSeq. I'm going to go under Data tab and go under the Data Tools group under What If Analysis, go to GoSeq. And it's going to bring up my GoSeq uh, dialog box. What I want to do is I want to set this cell, B2, to zero. Right? I want to have uh, the output or the final output is zero. And I want to change the values in cell A2, which is my reference here, right? So if I click OK, Excel is going to go through its gyrations and see that um, my value is going to be 0 0.0697. So X has to be 0 0.0697. But if you look at it, if I click in cell A2, you can see that it goes several decimal places out, right? So basically, this particular value, if I put it into X here, and x here, it's going to equal to 0. So that's going to solve for that particular equation. But let's say, we're, for example, we have another equation. Let me show you another, another example. Let's say we have another example here. We have a linear equation here where we want to solve for x. And basically what we want to do is, is we, we want to have one side ha have an integer where the x is not there. So we're going to go ahead and kind of change this equation a little bit to make it look like this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 3x minus 8, right? So 3x minus 8 here divided and on the left side and 3x minus 8 divided on the right side. On the right side, I've got a 1 because it basically anytime you divide something by itself, it becomes a 1. And so on the left side, I have 5x minus 6 divided by 3x minus 8. So that's going to be the equation I'm going to use to put together uh, to put into my um, cell here in B2 and to have it figure out for GoSeq. So now I've got 5x, or 5 times uh, the reference cell A2, so I'm going to say multiply by uh, A2, and then I'm going to divide it by uh, 3, I'm going to have that in parentheses because I want those calculations to be done first. 3, uh, oops, let me go ahead and do, um, I forgot to minus 6 here, minus 6, and then 3 times uh, A2, and then close parentheses, minus the 8, right? So I want to have the uh, 5x perform first, so that's why that's in parentheses, 5 times a2 here, minus 6, and then I want to go ahead and perform that calculation in itself after the effort's done, so I'm going to put that in parentheses. 
And then my 3 times a2, which is the 3 times x, I want to have that done first. And then minus 8, I want to have that done uh, in next, right? So basically, it's going to perform that calculation in its entirety underneath. So now I've got uh, this particular side of the equation, the left side of the equation, and I want to find out what x is, right? So that's set up there. Let me go ahead and just delete this first because it's giving me a, a, raw, a different calculation, right? And so since this is 0, that's what it's giving you at. So what I, what I want to do is I want to figure out to have this particular b2 equal 1. So I'm going to go ahead and go into what if analysis, go to go seek, and what I'm going to do is I want to set cell b2. I want to have that equal to 1 and tell me by changing the value in cell a2 what it's going to be. So I click OK. Whoops. Let me go ahead and click on cell reference a2. Click OK. And you see it go through the gyrations. The current value is 0 0.9999. If we were to go ahead and uh, increase the decimal places, let me go ahead and just increase the decimal places. Whoops. The, you know, bring it to an integer value. You could see that to equal 1, it has to be a negative 1. So if you put negative 1 in this particular formula here, the output on the right would equal 1. So that's the way that we can use uh, Go Seek to do some algebra. Some, actually, when you think about it, some simple algebra. So if you wanted to have some fun with Go Seek and help you validate your algebra, you can go ahead and just plug it in uh, the formula in one reference cell and have it try to uh, Go Seek and figure out what values to change in another cell and to go ahead and perform that basic calculation. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.